G'day and welcome back to the channel. Now when it comes to drones, the media is full of rubbish stories, incorrect stories, misinformation, uh, wrong facts. Well, a fact can't be wrong, it's either a fact or it's not, but there's so much garbage being published in the mainstream media about drones. And I found a story today which just really, really demonstrates how bad things have got. Now this is about a US Customs and Border Protection helicopter. And back uh, about 10.30 p.m. in the evening on February the 9th, they had an encounter with a drone, allegedly, apparently. But this is an FBI, the FBI are telling us this. This is what happened. FBI are seeking information as to who could have been flying this drone and what they were doing and all sorts of things. But apparently, according to the FBI, the drone flew dangerously close to this US Customs and Border Protection helicopter. It orbited it several times. Now, you would think, hmm, that's pretty dangerous, isn't it? But they also went on and said that this drone was capable of reaching 14,000 feet. I don't say it reached 14,000 feet, but it was capable of reaching 14,000 feet. And it had a 70 mile range and flew at 100 miles an hour. And it was a multi-rotor. They said it had four or six rotors. Um, so they got obviously got a really close view of this drone as it orbited the helicopter and the, the, the people in the helicopter. So I thought I'd do some simple fact checking. Well, first of all, I think 10.30 p.m. is probably going to be nighttime. It's not going to be daytime. So how did they see the, the rotors from this helicopter? I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me that in, in the pitch of dark, they said they had one green flashing light. But how did you see the rest of it if it was dark, if it was nighttime? Um, yeah, and, and, the, and the, the FBI also said that it was high powered and heavily modified. This drone was high powered and heavily modified. Well, how do you know it was heavily modified unless you know what it was originally? And they're saying they have no idea what this was. So how do you know it was modified? This just does not stack up. This is just hype and misinformation. Now, one of the clues here, which I don't know, maybe people in the FBI are really, really stupid. I've got no idea. I have no dealings with the FBI. They probably have dealings with me, but I don't know about it. Um, but they said that um, this flew over the Davis, what is it, Muthan Air Base, um, in military airspace, flew into military airspace. Well, could it perhaps be a military drone? That may explain the fantastic performance that apparently accompanied this flight. Maybe, because certainly no consumer grade drones, nothing, your DJI Phantoms and Mavic's not gonna do it. And even the best hobby drone is not going to come anywhere close to the sort of performance figures that are claimed in, in the news media. So one would think it could only be a military drone with a very advanced capabilities. So why didn't they just go to the, the air base and say, look, were you guys you know, flying a drone around a helicopter? Apparently that was a little bit too hard for them. Much better to go to the media and have these wild stories about all oh, this fantastic high powered modified drone. And the FBI claims that this was illegal and extremely dangerous. The flight of this drone was illegal and extremely dangerous. So why isn't someone in the military base being dragged before the courts? If one can only assume it was a military craft, if there was any craft at all. And I say that because let's take a look at the specs for the US Customs and Border Protection helicopters. Well, for a start, there were always two crew. So the pilot may be busy flying the helicopter, but the co-pilot, the, the, the crew man, he didn't have a phone with him to catch pictures of this drone as it orbited dangerously close to the helicopter. Forgot to get his phone out and get an image. My goodness, how, how unfortunate. But it goes, it goes even better than that. These helicopters are equipped with night vision and high powered cameras. They've got a little ball on the front, a little um, gimbal on the front of the helicopter with cameras designed specifically for zooming into things a long way away and getting good, good video of everything because it's border protection. They need to see what's going on. And they didn't think to use that, even though this drone menaced them for quite some time. I think it was over an hour. And they didn't think to use that camera to film the drone. Really? Seriously? Um, as I say, are people really this stupid? Or is this just another one of those beat up stories for drones? <laughs> you tell me, I have no idea. This, and the fact that people believe what they read in the media about this stuff. Why are we continuing to see a vilification of drones? If this, this only goes back to the belief that there are, there are agendas at play here. The certain parties want to rid the skies of, of drones, of unauthorized drones of drones that they're not making money out of in order to make money out of their drones. I think that this kind of proves that there is such a huge agenda here. Unbelievably bad. But remember, <laughs> this we are talking about US government departments. And I think we know that the, the sharpest knives in the drawer really work in those departments. We don't have very bright bulbs in the sockets there. For example, when the Pentagon released footage of UFO, UFO, no, sorry, unexplained aerial phenomenon, they've changed the name now. 
Um, I couldn't, there was nowhere to explain the, the way these craft defied the laws of physics and so forth. And I mean, I can see, for example, the ones that were filmed with the night vision camera. It was a helicopter that wasn't in focus, that the night vision camera hadn't focused. So it looked like a pyramid because you get aberrations like that. When you get something out of focus, you get aberrations. And if you've got a, for example, you've got an iris or something, which is a, a multiplane iris, you get pyramids, you get hexagons, you get all sorts of different shapes as you change focus. And what surprised me most of all is that it's so play, plainly visible in the footage that the UFO or unexplained aerial phenomenon had a FAA compliant strobe light on it. Why would aliens, if they were coming from foreign galaxies and planets to secretly watch us, why would they fit FAA compliant strobes on the craft? It's not, but they can't explain it. It's an inexplicable aerial phenomenon. Just use the focus ring. Okay, just use the focus ring. And as I say, people seem to be very, very stupid in some places. But that's my little rant for today. I thought you might like that. It's just oh, it beggars belief. The media and drones, they're as bad as ever. So tell me what you think. You know, seriously, I've linked to the story. There's multiple versions of this on the internet, so I've linked to a couple of them in the description of this video. And I've also linked to the, the spec sheet for the helicopters that they use with explaining the crew and the, all the fancy onboard video and camera equipment, none of which was able to capture a picture of this heavily modified drone that was operated in an illegal and extremely dangerous fashion, according to the FBI, who must be believed. There you go. To the comments with you, have your say, have your own little mini rant if you want. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Overregulation is like a tumor. It's killing a hobby. It must be terminated. Now.